smack in the mouth of you. Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Kevin and Mikel. We are back with another video. I hope you guys enjoyed your Memorial Day weekend. I had a nice, quiet weekend. Um, shout out to everybody that was on Periscope Live this past Friday night. And shout out to those who came on Periscope yesterday. And I did a live video on YouTube yesterday. I'm not sure if you guys get the video, but if you haven't watched it, go ahead and watch it. Um, it was, um, I was on there for about a good hour. And there was just um, one lady who called at the end of the show. Um, I want you to know that I'm praying for you, and I hope they start doing it. You know how the comments can get real lit. <laughs> um, she was just talking about how she's been like in a depression since her husband passed away. So I want you to know that you are in my prayers. And the next time you are in counseling, I hope that you really open up to the counselor. Because I'm not a professional counselor, but opening up to the uh, professional will help you even more. And maybe there are other programs that you can go to where people are also grieving. So, how long did she say? Um, um, I, it was still like a couple months. Oh, wow. And he passed away right after his best friend had passed away. Um, like a couple she said, um, she said they said uh, natural causes, but she think that it might have been like sleep, sleep apnea or something else to that effect. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, I just want you to know that I'm thinking about you So and praying for you. So, please, yeah. you know, go ahead and get that help. And then um, I talked to one of the girls that came to your church. Um, I saw uh, she posted a picture. Yeah. It was a father. Yeah. Yeah, she's sweetheart. Yeah, she came to the, uh, and she called, just called them and be talking to them a while. So, go ahead and listen to that video. Um, what else? And shout out to those who watched last week's videos. If you missed them, check them out. If you're first time watching to the Scorpion Show, I hope that you click the subscribe button. And everyone, please click the like button and the share button. There is a Scorpion Show Facebook page that I don't really post on. But I'm going to start posting on it again, so if you're on Facebook, please like the Scorpion Show Facebook page. There's 13,000 people there, and I barely be on there, so I'm going to go over there and start interacting with you guys. Um, so let's get into this video. So today, um, we found out that the officers that were involved in the killing of Tamir Rice, Rice, one officer was fired, and the, another officer was suspended for 10 days. Now, the officer who was fired, he was fired not because he shot Tamir Rice. He was fired because, it's my mind just went blank. He was fired because, was it he was still in time or something? No, it, it was, he was fired because he didn't tell the truth on his application. His job application. His job application. And the other one was suspended for how the way he drove or some crap on his way on, on the way they was involved with Tamir Rice. This doesn't make no sense at all. So it took y'all two years and six months. How long has he been with the force? I don't even know how long he's been there. I don't even know. I didn't even read that part. And they're just seeing this after a few months ago. They started the investigation. Well, you know when they were doing the investigation. They did their own investigation. Yeah. Because the uh, uh, a judge or whatever already decided, or a jury decided they weren't going to win. Yeah, grand jury decided not to charge them. Mm -hmm. But the police department was still doing their own investigation. Yes. And the investigation led them to say, oh, well, we're going to fire him because of he didn't, he misled them on a job application. Misled them on a job application, not because of the, uh, the shooting that he killed to make rights in one second of jumping out of a car. Two. Two seconds. It looked like he jumped out and just started shooting. One, two. One, two. The bitch, it was like, bam! Like, he already had it in his mind that he was going to shoot this boy because he heard him over the radio that this boy had a gun. And, you know, it's just, I, I, I really feel horrible for his mom, for, you know, all the things that she went through. And, you know, now it's just like, you're telling me that you're firing the officer who shot my son because he got on the application. But it's not doing any justice for Tamir. Like, I think they should be right. left alone. Right, right. He lied, like a lot of officers do. But him lying on the application shouldn't have gotten fired. I don't know who they think, who, who they thought they were doing a baby for. Right. Who are you doing a baby for? 
And it's not even no need to sit there and celebrate because <laughs> officers are always getting away with killing people, and black people in particular. And there is no repercussions for it, but it's always, oh, we'll pay you an X amount of millions of dollars for a wrongful death. But we won't take the responsibility that our uh, police officer was responsible for the death of your child or your family member. It's just ridiculous. And I think this is something they should have just left alone. Because y'all already let them get away. Y'all already gave the money to the family. I think she got like $6 million. So, you know, leave her alone. And all that's going to happen is he's just going to go to a different precinct or whatever mm-hmm. and get behind or go to a different city and get behind. You know, all of these officers need to be trained. I mean, I don't understand how, to interact with how this is. Like, first of all, why do y'all even need to let us know that he was fired? If he wasn't fired for this whole to be a right situation. Yeah. Why do we need to know this? It's, just, it's like opening up a whole world. Yeah. If, he doesn't, if he wasn't fired for what he did to Tamir Rice, then why do we need to know why he was fired? Because they thought they were doing somebody a favor. You're not doing us a favor, no. No, now if you say he was fired, first of all, I should say, uh, um, um, put charges on that. He's going to have to go to court for the killing of Tamir Rice. I'm, I'm tired of them always doing these grand jury investigations. Like, charge people, charge them, put them on trial. To never defend themselves. It's like that lady that killed Terrence with a crutcher. She got off. Oh, he was, he, she thought he was grabbing a gun. How was he grabbing a gun with his fucking hands up? Oh, no, I'm not saying that. Man, that's the same subject. So, Kathy Griffin. Now, Kathy Griffin is one of my favorite comedians of all comedians. Like, she's fucking hilarious. And she used to do stuff for Bravo all the time. She had a um, reality show about my life with I love it. Now, you know, a lot of us are are not supporters of Donald Trump and don't support anything that he do. And we always speak up out against Donald Trump. But Trump's a king bear. But uh, Kathy Griffin took it a little bit too far. Not a little bit. She went all the way over the line by taking pictures with a decapitated Donald Trump with blood all over his face. Well, and it like a, it's, that was a mask? Yes, it was Donald Trump. Well, it wasn't Donald Trump. No, yeah, I know it wasn't. Here, I will keep saying, of course. <laughs> Y'all better not come look at me. <laughs> of course not. But it was this. It was hard on the photo shoot. It was the photo shoot and her holding the head. The head. It looked like a Michael Myers mask, but it was Donald Trump. Wow. Down, it looked so hard on the Donald Trump. It was bloody and all that. Bloody. And I'm not even going to put the picture on this wall. I can't do that. It was just bad business. And uh, she's like, I think I might get in trouble. I'm going to have to leave the country for the Mexico. I don't know what you want to do. She finds it funny, though. That it's not funny. Yeah, that was sarcasm when she said that. Yeah, but I mean, if, if Donald Trump wants to take it as a threat, he can probably do that. Or well, well, this record is going to be knocked on our door. So. Yeah, because you don't do shit like that. Even if you find yourself. Tweeting stuff, don't think that the government not watching. They, they pay attention to everything on Twitter, what you post on Facebook, what you text in your phone. Oh, they pay attention to all of them. Now, let me ask you this. Because we know, we've know we known people when they're protesting, whatever, especially in different countries, but also here when they're protesting, they'll take, they in the past have taken dolls of presidents or whatever and either burnt them or this, that, and the third. Uh, whatever they say I've seen it with George Bush, I've seen it with Barack Obama, some people you know, have to do some other things. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's not right. But I'm thinking that uh, I, the question I'm asking is how is what she did any different from them? Because I don't agree with what she did, just like I don't agree with Oh, there's no difference at all. It's, 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 it's just because she's evil. a celebrity. Even as yeah, because not just because she's a celebrity, but it's just like, why would you, if you have a brain, why would you want to do something like this? Whether it's right or wrong, or like nobody, I wouldn't want to see Donald Trump decapitated or killed. I or anything like that. Way. Yes, just leave. It's just leave. <laughs> or resign. Leave with the 5% of dignity you might have. Like, it's just, like, it's just a mess. And if you want him out of office, but I don't want nobody to kill him, right? Or, you know, put this picture out there might give people that idea, yeah, let's kill the president. You never know what your celebrity may be doing for other people that's watching. 
Right, right, so right. you have to be careful of the things that you say and the things that you do. Just like, you know, with ski dog, that wasn't right. Anything, anytime when you're doing image, putting images out there against people of in political power, this power period, you don't know who you're inciting. You shouldn't do it. It's wrong all the way around. Nobody should do it to Bush. Nobody should do it to Trump. Nobody should do it to Obama. It, should, it just shouldn't be done. And anytime these things are done, they need to investigate these people. Right? But is this how you, they need to investigate us. Right? Take up our time. It's for our 17. Investigate us. But Kathy Griffin, I love you, but maybe that was another. Lauren Hill and Nas are going on tour, baby. If I rule the world. Imagine this. You know, Imagine that, that or this. Imagine this. Lauren Hill showing up on time. Okay, for every fucking chance. Okay? And I feel this is going to be a nice solo tour. Featuring sometimes. Lauren Hill. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be getting my tickets for that, but it is unfortunate. Yeah, because that's a really, that, that's a really good show. Nice and Lauren Hill. Mm -hmm. That's unfortunate. If Lauren Hill is not going to show up, or Nas going to be performing first, and and then she. I can't see him there. performing first though. It don't even matter to me. It don't matter. But I would have to want the strip of Lauren Hill always being made. I would make Nas go first. And just to make sure, you see, you, you want them to do a Bible with the World uh, cl a collaboration. So, it doesn't, yeah. I, and, oh my God, we don't even know she will be there. We don't. And it's unfortunate. And it's almost as if her and her camp don't care. Well, and Lauren definitely don't care. No. You spend your money, okay, you're going to report. She likes to perform 20 minutes before they turn the lights off. And they will turn the lights off right in the middle of her performance. She knows she's doing. She knows that. But she's still getting paid. Yeah. I guess. I, I would she say must be. Fine. She gotta be still getting paid because I can't see her pulling those stunts and not getting paid. Because then it's like, why would you pull those stunts? Yeah. Well, listen, she won't be getting none of that money because I won't be paying and then getting mad and going on Twitter and making a YouTube rant about Lauren Hill. And bitch, now, history has shown that this will happen. So why are you all upset? I'm not about to get but it seems well, history has shown us that about other artists. I know, and, and, that, and I thought, and you better not do it. I mean, well, because that's my girl. I listen, okay? and she's not holding nobody funds against her. No, she's not. Oh, she's right. not I didn't say nobody's name. Why are you getting so defensive? I don't think nobody's name. I know where you go. Uh, you don't know where I'm going. Like, I know yeah. where you go. I've never been here. Where's her? I know where you go. And it's the rain. You know what? Yeah, okay. Go ahead. 1992? Oh, bitch, it was raining somewhere when she performed. Okay. And it's raining somewhere when she was supposed to They don't suppose to. Bitch, I'm gonna get you. Shout out to Listen, them. Listen, shout out to those people who take that risk and buy tickets for artists who don't show up all the time. Shout uh, out to y'all. Because I would, I would not want to take that risk. Like you said, Lauren Hill, I'm sorry, Lauren Hill, I want to see you live. Lord knows I do, but I can't take that risk, honey. I can't. Because if you were not to show up live here in Philly, I will make sure the Scorpion Show films right where we are at in that arena. Talk about how you didn't show up. And they won't be at the BBNT across yep. the bridge on September 14th if y'all want to go. Oh, well, they're not coming to Philly. They're not coming to Philly. No, it's right across the bridge. Yeah, but that ain't Philly. It's camp. It's camp. They want you to watch out because they just as rowdy. They what? Oh, Lord. Okay. okay. It's worse. <laughs> it will come it's worse. If not rowdy. Deep. Okay. So, um, yesterday we found out Tiger Woods has been charged with a DUI. Now, yesterday I was over it. Okay, I was over and I'm just like, I just don't understand some of these celebrities. Why they want to drink and drive and all of that stuff? Then we found out that it wasn't that he was drinking and driving. It was that he was high off those prescription medicines that he was taking. Now, police officers found him on the side of the road, and they said that his speech was slurred, and he was broke groggy. Did it say drinking and driving, or did it say no, driving under the influence? And drive DUI, driving under the influence. Yeah, that doesn't mean well, I know, but I'll be thinking, I, that's the first thing I'll be thinking, I'm on that person, I'm not going to about the, um, the pills, but I did. You mean a lot. Yeah, and I did, of course, I know. Not me personally. Well, no, I don't know. You know. Yeah. But, you know, I'm just saying. Um, <laughs> what are you talking about? 
Cal Calpurnia. Legends? Calpurnia. What is that? Calpurnia from The Kill Mockingbird. Girl. The Baby. I love the movie I've been watching. The Baby. <laughs>
Yeah. It was two Colts and Rams. I believe that the same person that it's just that they did the nuts they did the nuts in a much better place. Well, maybe she seen something that was on, I'm not sure. Yeah, they did been close. Yeah. Like right like, that was the answer that for a coincidence. I love how they kept pulling them angles up on how far mm-hmm. different places was and stuff like that. Because everything was around each other. So, um, um, moving on, uh, um, Ariana Grande is throwing a benefit concert for those, um, for the survivors of the Manchester bombings two weeks ago. The survivors or the, for the, so the victims? Vic, yeah, the survivors, victims, and families. Oh. So they're doing a benefit concert this, I believe this Saturday. But why are they raising money for the survivors? Is it people injured? Well, yeah, it's, it's a lot of people. Yeah, I know it's people injured, but that's what she's raising the money for, too, right? Yeah, for the, for the families on the video. I gotta take this one time. I'm frank. Oh, good. Oh, this is such a great. University of Massachusetts. Well, she did it all online. Oh, I know that's right. Well, she, she found the guy today? Yeah, came in the house today. Oh, wow. So, uh, so yeah, so the benefit, let me go back. Yes, it's a benefit concert for the surviving family members and the uh, family members who uh, died. For the, for the people who died in the attacks and um, the people who were injured. Yeah. And man, man, I can't get it right. I'm trying to know where I'm going with it. So it's going to be Ariana Grande, Justin Bieber, Katy Perry, Coldplay, and a couple other acts. Um, and it's going to be at Old Trafford, a uh, soccer stadium. Over at Manchester, and it's gonna be it's a UJ Stadium too. It's gonna be. I don't think it's gonna be. I'm seeing that here is because I would like to watch something like that. And people are calling to help them. They're not be able to donate one this year. That's all we do. So I'm glad that Ariana is not being afraid to go back, and she really hasn't said much except for just our condolences to the people. But I'm glad that this is not stopping her. And she's um going to do a benefit. So shout out to Ariana Grande and to all. The artist that's participating in that. Uh, and the final thing, Tiny and T.I. Now, I haven't watched all episodes of Tiny and T.I. I probably watched a good, about well, maybe 15 or 20. Now, I have been keeping a little bit in touch with this season, but these episodes I really don't care about. What I care about is just the situation that Tiny has been through. Tiny has been dealing with a bunch of T.I. stuff for a very long time. She's put up with a lot. She's been through a lot. They've been through a lot together in that time. And, you know, unfortunately, it's coming to an end. And the person that I see in T.I., I just don't like. I don't like it at all. And he's been out here preaching to all these other men about how they should be living their lives. And the way he's treating his wife, like, how do you come talk side to somebody about what they said? When you treat your woman like shit, he treats Tiny like so bad. And and Tiny, I don't know how you allow yourself to even let him do that to you. And <clears throat> T.I. speaks with such, oh, it's all right for me to do it, but bitch, how dare you do it? That's very be Scorpio with him. And I don't even know if he's a Scorpio. But yeah, he's just, you know, it's just, don't He's just, it's just so wrong. The way how he talked to her at that table. Like, yeah, I don't like what you did to me. You <clears throat> know I had situations with this problem. Oh, well, I don't like how you, uh, damn, what you did to me when that girl was working for me. And then it's like, but were you at odds with her? Like, bitch, it doesn't matter if she was at odds or not. Why would you try to blame her for the shit that she did when you went out there and did the same thing? And what made it worse is that you fucked. One of our friends, and I'm sure you fucked several of her friends, along with a lot of these hoes in Atlanta. I'm pretty sure you have. You have, like, T.I. is just horrible. You are horrible. You are horrible. And I know you do a lot for the kids, like, you love your children and everything, but you just flat out wrong. And I can't side with you, and I don't see how anybody can side with T.I. in this whole situation. Like, y'all up here making babies and just throwing top problems on top of problems on top of problems. It's just a mess. I love how you treat your children, but I hate how the way you treat your wife. That's all I have to say about it. It's just, and I don't know why Tiny just sat there and, and dealt with it. It must be something in the Well, she got three of them with them, and then they, like they, all, they had a whole Brady Bunch family, 
and everything. It's just T.I. You were just wrong to do stuff like that. And Tiny, I'm sure she got her her ways and her things, but she don't let us show. She don't damn sure don't show it on camera for us to critique it and judge it. And she was right for one nigga that divorce. I mean, the other side be like, yeah, they could, they should work it out. But T.I. basically wants to do what T.I. wants to do. T.I. wants to fuck whatever woman he wants to fuck without it being an issue. And Tiny better not say something. Oh, but because Tiny want to say something about it, she's this and she's that. So Tiny just like, look, I don't put up with it a lot. I want to get a divorce. We're better off. And then Tiny T.I. was just saying a whole bunch of shit in the media. Oh, we better off as friends or marriage is a distraction. He was just saying a whole bunch of stupid shit. Tiny, get away from him. That old bitch you're fine. I don't know. Cause they got a big ass family. I don't know what they gonna do. But I wouldn't want to get back under right? now let's see changes. Yes, change. I have nothing to say. I just think it's buffoonery. I'm shocked that you know, I believe him. I'm shocked that when he said I'm not shocked that he cheated, I'm shocked that what he said. Yeah. When he said that statement comment about uh told her, you know that, you know, me and I guess he's talking about Floyd Paper. Yeah. And the Floyd Murray eyes. And she said, well, you stuck with, you know, you know, you know, she got you her. And he said, but y'all weren't at odds. Like, T.I., this is a big right? And like she said, no, bitch, we were at odds. Every time you fuck with my man, he was supposed to be working for me. We were at odds. Right. Then you got to understand that I'm not the same as 22. Bitch, you got to understand I'm the same when you got me at 32. I would keep changing too. Who said that? No, she ain't saying her age. No, I'm sure she's older than them. No, but I'm saying, who said you got to try to think about that? Who was he thinking about that? About how the way he's changing and how the way they both are growing in different directions. And she's like, you know. Yeah, but if you're growing in a different direction, that's fine. That's totally fine. But then don't cheat on me with somebody close to me and then turn it around and spin it as if it's my fault. If you're going in a different direction, then go in that direction. Because I just might be going in a different direction too, but please don't try to make it seem like it's my fault because you're going in that direction. And I hope that they didn't have a baby just to try to save their marriage. I really hope they didn't. I think you always want to be fucking right now. You just don't want the title anymore. No you just want to be top best friend. She got plenty of but I don't think I don't know. But anyway, yeah, that's it. That's all I got to say. That's all we have. For today, May 30th. Tuesday, I mean, Thursday is June the 1st. I want to know where is Spring. Spring is not here. It's too damn cold. They tell my heat is still on at the end of May. <coughs> my heat ain't on. I just said have my air conditioner on. Because I get hot. Yeah, I get hot and cold. I don't, I don't I didn't mean cold. I just get hot. I get cold in the morning time when, you know, but I feel like this particular week, week it's been chilly like this in the 60s because of the rain. It's been a rainy week. And it's going to be like that for the next few days, but I think starting next week it's supposed to warm back up. Oh, I mean, I'm not mean, mistaken. Yeah, it's just a mess. I need to, I'm going to wear shorts. I'm going to enjoy the sun. Can't do that when it's rainy. Can't do that when it's cold. Can I, yeah, can I say something real quick before we get off? So today, you know, I was uh, I was told the other day on a lot about this movie that's on Netflix and I wanted to watch it. So today we have my work and I'll be watching that work. Um, it's called Hush. And it's kind of pretty old because a few people were telling me they already saw it in the third. But I haven't seen it and some people haven't, so I watched it. So when you finish, you keep it. We're not going to do it. Hush is got me so bad. Hush is about this woman who is being terrorized and stalked at her home. And she lives in the woods and she lives by herself. And she's being stalked and terrorized by this man. But the only problem is that the woman is dead. And she can't hear him coming. And then she can't walk him. So she's stuck in the house being terrorized. Don't tell me nothing. Don't tell me nothing else. I'm at the look. It makes you mad! But the whole time, I'm saying, why would you go out there in the woods by yourself and you can't hear and you can't talk? Wait, she can't speak. She can't speak, or she had got this uh, 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 meningitis disease, disease when she was 13, and it wiped her out. Wiped her out. Vocal and hearing. Mm. Jesus. And then you decide to go move into the woods by yourself. 
And you don't even have a dog. You just got a cat. So the, uh, who does the thing yet? But of course, no offense. She's what? Yeah. Well, I have an issue there. So I was sitting at work. And my co and I was watching all the co across the room. She wasn't even watching. She said, I bet you she ran in. She said, of course, no. Because <laughs> we're not doing that. How, how long is this movie? It's like an hour and a half. You can't even get us to go to camping, some of us. And if you want to go get me camping, it ain't going to be too far away. I can't see the city lights. Yeah, you can get the city lights. If I'm going camping, I need to be in a, a, a long path and not a tent. I need to be able to close the door and lock it. Not zip up the door. I, I want to know why she's living by herself. And she can't hear and can't. Well, she'll you. take that in the movie why she decides to move up there by herself. Well, she won't say it, she'll sign it. <laughs> you know, and then they talk about me. They talk about me chewing. But yeah, she's out the way right now. Look, <laughs> <laughs> y'all, we're going to go. Y'all enjoy the, um, the rest of your week. We'll be back on Thursday or Friday. Let us be okay. It's called Hush on Netflix. Okay? Hush. So please not hit me up saying, what was that movie you said on the video? Watch the video, watch the sunrise, come on, baby, oh, oh, oh.